This is our 100th video vlog or whatever you want to call it. And we brought everybody here tonight. <laughs> Before we turn the camera on, Rose made a great statement that <laughs> these are the only friends we got left. <laughs> Everybody's moved on or I don't know. We're so desperate. Our friends. We're we're talking the plastic Halloween decorations. <laughs> but anyway, this is our hundredth episode of Kuya Nation, the Philippine vlog of our Philippine adventures. I you know what? I even dug this this outfit right here out. You don't have to show it. I, I do have to show it, huh? <laughs> That was a lot, I guess one of the last times we were able to frugally spend money at the Renaissance Fair. So, and it's chilly outside, so you know what? This is gonna be my official captain's attire. It is, it, this is a real pirate thing too, by the way. Just keeping that real. So anyway, you know, we're joined here with uh, Pepe. Pilar. Pilar, Miguel, and our new friend, Jose Lobanog. He lost his mind. He lost his mind. He lost his body. The only thing that's left is his head from, from drinking Lobanog. So, thank you, Ate Jane, for. There's your creation right there. Hey, believe me, there's more going on in here. They're fake, not real. Not real. Anyway, yeah, um. Other things we wanted to share with you, this also marks our one month uh, anniversary being back from the Philippines. Honey. Oh my god. It's so depressing. Yep, it's very depressing. It's a depressing month. Yeah. I just take it on cooking and eating. Yeah. <laughs> and to give you an example, right here, this is our, our meal. Rose has literally broken it down. Pre-packed everything now. Yep, everything it's is now. A lot Yep, pre-packed. I'm, I'm not trying to look like I'm crying, folks. I'm getting ready to sneeze, and I hope it didn't ruin <laughs> this great introduction that we've done. But yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. Uh, working. Uh, one day's good, one day's bad. Yep. One um, day you're happy, one day you want to just pull the plug. Yep. <laughs> just, <I> mean, just go. <laughs> But we both know that that isn't uh, the right thing to do. We're both still learning lessons. Uh, I'll, I'll take the blame on that. We're both, I, I'm sorry, I, I did it again. What? I'm learning that, you know, I think this trip here was very hard, this three months. Just let me give you an example of this, what three months uh, vacationing in the Philippines and then having this uh, incredible idea of coming back and getting to your job. I think I had a lobotomy. That? That's when you lose this part of your head, <laughs> or your brain. I, I just, we, we really have no emotions anymore, or since we've been back. Yes. Yeah. yeah, I don't have any more emotions. Just lost everything. Yeah, I just lost everything. We're <laughs> just watching things trickle day by day. So, yeah, we don't even have any speakers here in the Kuya's bar anymore. Why? Thank you. You gave them that. Yeah, she wanted it. She did? Yeah. And she said she gave them to us. <laughs> oh, well. Okay. <laughs> anyway, but that's just how it has been. It's been a, a very, very much a still ongoing, a emotional roller coaster. One day you like it, and one day you don't. It is very emotional. For all of our vloggers in the Philippines who are still pumping out videos and showing us uh, the streets and the happenings in the Philippines, I want to, I want to thank you. That is just pretty much killed us. It killed him. It killed Miguel. It freaking killed Miguel. That, that is what your videos do to us. I uh, will rest my case. Easy, Miguel. It's okay, buddy. It's okay. Come here. It's okay. I'm gonna hold Miguel here. That's his official San Miguel cup here between his legs. Easy, bud. It's okay. Yes. So that is really what this, uh, those videos do to us. They are great videos. Uh, we were just sitting there listening to Says Style the other night. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I forget his... The quality uh, of life. Yeah, the quality of life. And man, everything that they said... Is spot on. Spot on. 
That is exactly what uh, goes through our hearts, our minds, and what we feel, what, why we come up with our, our discussion or decisions that we've made. Um, things lose in value, uh, you know, here in the States, how hard you work for that super duper cool car that sits in your driveway that you can't afford to drive, or I don't know. <laughs> But it's you know, materialistic. Yeah. yeah. You buy so much stuff that you just, you know, you work your ass off. Yeah. <laughs> you work your ass off. Just I don't know. It's, uh, I think we came up to it one day. It's so, at times, it's so boring here. You will go out and go shopping just to give yourself something yeah. to do. And then you get back and go, what the freaking heck did we just do? And then you're going to be, you know, paying for it for the next five years. So again, you know, I think this is, uh, we've talked about it, and uh, this is um, a preparation, not preparation age, but a preparation, <laughs> you know, before we go to the, you know, the Philippines, and we really got to live on a tight budget. You know, I'm not saying go try to live on $5 a month, I'm not saying that, but, you know, try, try not to be so... Uh, uh, spendy or just you know careless with your money you know when you get to the Philippines or whatever little you might have left so yeah that's what's really been going through our minds it's really lonely here at our house it's very lonely like only three people live yeah. more than two thousand square foot yeah it's it's sad it's, uh, it's I really miss everybody you know I miss Auntie Jess Kathy all the people that used to live with us but they all have you know families and it wants to move on so we want to move on too but we want to be in the Philippines so bad yeah so you know that's another thing that kind of throws me back to the tough topic of um, you know the six months in the Philippines six months back here I see a lot of our friends and our comments and other videos too and uh, on things on Facebook you know that's a dream to like go over there for six months you know and come back my only thing is, is that when you come back and you gotta work, it is hard. Unless you can, you don't have, you can be that bag boy at your local grocery store and not have to be paranoid about your paycheck. That is the only other thing I can say. If, if you, if you have to sit there and stress about your paycheck and stuff like that, or, or for some other financial, you are gonna be absolutely miserable. Unless you have some kind of cheap hobby um, and, and you're talking to plastic Halloween decorations in your garage looking at your cell phone and making a video. Um, really good, right? <laughs> yeah, so I mean, that's, uh, that's pretty much, you know, what it's, it's come to. But th that is very, very hard. Unle or unless you stay over there longer than six months. You know, and maybe come back for a month to do a hot turn and then go back to the Philippines, you know, to just for your exit or to come over here and do any uh, kind of business that yeah. you need to do. Yeah. Or for exit, you can always just go to the neighbors, you know, like neighbors country. Yeah. Yeah. For two hour mm -hmm. flight, Korea or Hong Kong. Or yeah. Just... Exactly. You know what? And another thing that we found out, and it was even backed up by some, uh, one of the vlogs that we we're listening to, is the amount of rent. Oh, yeah. The rent here is Yeah, the rent is at, we, we were, a couple days ago, we were sitting around with our, you know, really moping on the price for a house, to, you know, for your, your mortgage payment. And then we, we stopped and we looked at each other and it's like, there had to be like $100. This is, a, having a house is like $100 more a month than sitting there having like a one or a two bedroom teeny tiny, you know, apartment. With no yard, no garage, um, no, you know, privacy. no privacy. So you had to kind of like really stop and you know scratch your, your chin and go, is that is that worth it? So it it really it's really weird on how you look at things and, and come into perspective of like you know is what's worth it, what's not, you know. So I think for me at, at this point, you know, in the in time, I'm really just trying to make the best I can out of work, you know, and, and not let it bother me. Uh, I needed to sustain us for a few more years. Um, Rose found out something. Uh, I don't know. We don't know if it's true, so don't go sit there and you know sell the farm. But the the 55 year old. Oh yeah. Like uh, if you um, take your 401k out by the age of 55, you don't have to pay penalties. 
IRA, if you, you know, you cannot, under 59 and a half, you know, you, know, you don't, I mean, if you, if you're 59 and a half and above, you don't have to pay penalty, but. On your IRA. On your IRA, yeah. But you have, you're gonna pay if you do take it out before 59 and a half. IRA. Right. You pay before 59 and a half. Mm -hmm. and 401k, if you're 55 and 55 plus, yeah. you don't pay any penalties. Mm -hmm. So that might be some research there on the internet. Again, I'm not saying to go sell the farm and go cash everything in, but those are just things that you know we're finding out, and you know we're really scratching our heads again too, you know, to you know see how all this you know stuff plays out, you know, in, in God's timing. So. Uh, the other thing too, you know, looking at selling houses here in our area, it seems to be, you know, a hot spot. So, you know, we're, we're thinking about that. But, and again, at times we think about not doing it just because of the, the difference in, uh, for paying for rent. So, mm -hmm. uh, I don't know, just maybe take care, try to take care of the house as best we can. And, and come, you know, when everything comes into place, it, it'll be worth it. We're in God's time, everything will just fall into, yeah. into place. So. That's really about it. Uh, again, we want to thank everybody who's been uh, following us on you know all these videos, all the comments, uh, the name contest. I want to apologize uh, for Miguel here. Um, it happened so fast. Believe me, I have more skulls. I even have a gigantic one. I'm not going to reveal to you. But if somebody wants to send in a name, it's a big guy right there. Up there. Oh my God. So if anybody wanted to send a name for that, and I, you know what, it's Friday afternoon, <laughs> the 24th, um, I might give it till like next Wednesday. I'm going to put everything in a jar, all the suggestions, um, they just pull a name. and I'll pull a name out of it. So I need another name. And I apologize on the last video. I, I need a contest. No, I, I had the contest. I just needed a name. I was a little all amped up on the way I was talking on that. But uh, we're gonna be filled with blood. Yeah. <laughs> Remember, we He's love you. We He's love you to the bone, baby. We love you to the bone. That's what all this stuff here is about, people. So anyway, yeah. Now, let's give it to next Monday to submit a name, and I will record it and reveal it and post it on YouTube that way. So that's what I'm gonna do. Next Monday, we will do the live drawing for the name of, keep talking hon, while I'm pulling uh, it. What am I supposed to say? Uh, uh, he just love all his, all his boom -o. Yes. So, <laughs> next Monday. <laughs> next Monday. <laughs> I need a name for this guy. <laughs> next Monday. Next Monday. By noon, Pacific Coast time, I need a name for him. Hmm. So, what does it look like? <laughs> I need a name, folks. So, other than that, we put. Oh. So I picked it with all this caliber. Hey, man, we love you to the bone. Be sure to go out and check over, check on to the Kuya Nation page. There is a post that I did that has a picture of a skeleton and kind of like a brief description. Kind of read that and, and just check it out. It's pretty cool. It's not satanic. It's not freaking loopy loopy. It's a pretty good explanation of why I kind of get into these bone things. Yeah. So, other than that, you know, this is Kuya Sid. Rose. Ate Rose. Bidding you a cheers, a tagai, and a manaming manaming salamat po for following us on our 100 uh, videos of our Philippine adventure. And the family would like to thank you as well. Pepe, Pilar, Miguel, and Jose Labanug. From Kuya Nation, here, stateside. Huh? Jose Labanug. Okay. Jose Labanug. The original thing was Jose Cuervo, but I changed it to like, man, I haven't seen a Cuervo in the Philippines, so, but I have seen La Banook. Oh, okay. So, that's the name I gave. So, other than that, from the bridge of Kuya's Bar and Grill, stateside here in the States, of course, again, we give you so much thanks for all the following, the kind comments. Give us a like, 
subscribe, share. If this is your first time stopping in, we appreciate it. We hope you'll be with us on our journey. Tell other Phil Lamb uh, couples about us, man. Tell us to get in contact. We ain't got no friends, man. And what's it gonna hurt? It ain't gonna this hurt. Is this is our friends, man. We'll even have you come over and eat out of a little plastic Tupperware thing. <laughs> I know, we're gonna starve on that. But other than that, this is cool. You see it again?